playing with the chord for a second. Oh, you guys have been a little, wow. Let's have a big hand for most of the comics tonight. <laughs> The majority of them are fantastic. <laughs> I don't know about the others. I, I must have stepped out. Uh, yes, my name is Morgan. That's a uh, little M, big organ. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Uh, I'm uh, just as poor man's Charlie Sheen tonight. You're welcome. He's <laughs> it's very slimming. Uh, and you're like, that's slimming? Good lord. <laughs> I'm just going to tie it. Um, what was I going to talk about? I mixed the, I've mixed. i written a whole lot of things for you. Uh, this is totally unprofessional, I apologize. But hey, <laughs> uh, how much did you pay to get in here? Uh, tell you a little bit about myself. I am uh, 42 years of age. I know you're probably thinking, wow, he looks a lot older. But uh, really, I'm 42. Any uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fans in the audience? Oh, yeah. This is the answer. Right here. 42. Right here. It's very disappointing. <laughs> Where's my towel? It's somewhere. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Comfortable, but it's there. Um, yeah, I'm a big guy, bigger than average. Uh, probably one supermodel larger than average human. Uh, I blame uh, the fact that I'm gluten tolerant. <laughs> Super gluten tolerant. I love gluten. Oh man, I would bathe in that stuff like it. Uh, I tried. It's not a good. It's not a good way to bathe. Um, I, I I think about getting healthier all the time. Uh, I, I, my main main problem is I eat too much. Uh, I think duh. Um, I do. I eat too much. I I love to go to smorgasbords. sports. Anybody here like to go to smorgasbords? sports by applause? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Because the more you eat, the cheaper it gets. And I ate, I went to, uh, it was my dad's birthday today, and I went to the Oak Bay Marina uh, to spend way too much on breakfast. And I uh, bought my dad breakfast, and it was a buffet brunch. And uh, I just filled up. Like, I was like, well, this is going to cost, like, how am I going to make $30 get in here? With bacon and eggs. Because uh, if you think about the cost of bacon and eggs, that is a bad thing. So I just was eating and eating and eating. Like, afterwards, I was like so full. You know, like my eyes were starting to bug out of my head. You know, I was getting the meat sweats. You know those meat sweats? You, just, like, you start to vibrate a little bit. You know? And I, I, I thought I was going to die. I could actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I was pretty sure I wouldn't fit. That's, that's a problem. That's a problem. I, uh, I, I think about taking care of myself. I think, oh, Morgan, you know, you're 42 years old. This is not the easy time to lose weight. you got to take care of yourself. So, I joined the Y, and I bought a Nike Fuel Band right here. Yeah. Nike Fuel Band. Uh, those two actions by themselves have not done anything. <laughs> Apparently, you have to do something also. It's just a pretty toy, let me press that. But, ooh. Uh, the cool thing about the Nike Fuel Band is you have a, you set yourself a goal every day. Uh, I don't know what Nike Fuels are, but you set them. And if you're like me, you're just like, okay, what, what can I accomplish? So you do a really lazy day, and you're like, oh, that's my goal, I guess. Um, but one day I was, I was, I was like, it was like late at night, it, was, it, was, it, it rolls over at midnight, and I was watching TV, and I happened to check my fuel band, and I was not at my goal for the day. I'm very competitive, so I, had to, I wanted to reach my goal, and I was like, not that far off. And so I stood up, literally, I'm not lying, and I stood in front of my TV and went like this for 10 minutes so I could reach my goal. I didn't even do both hands. I couldn't have done both hands. No, no, just one hand. I just, and I reached my goal. Thank you very much. Thank you. I made it. I made it. I made it. The street lived. The street lived. Hey, anybody have a birthday tonight? Oh, you have a birthday? For real? For serious? No. no. You just wanted some attention? You're just like, look at me for a second. Oh, good. Uh, how old would you like to have turned today? What's your name? Lily. Happy birthday to Lily, everybody. Happy birthday to Lily. Um, I, uh, I, used to get, I used to get bullied as a kid. Uh, doesn't it? Oh, it's unfair. Uh, uh, to be honest, I was the kind of kid who said, I'm not allowed to get wet. <laughs> so I may have brought a little bit on myself. 
Uh, not only that, I've always been a big kid, always been a little bit big, and my name, Morgan, means sea dweller. <laughs> that is not fair. It's not fair if your name means, like, ocean creature. It's not good. Uh, but, hey, it's me. Uh, but just recently, as an adult, I was bullied. Can you imagine that as an adult? 42 year old man getting bullied by a stranger. I know, your silence is. You're just like. You're as shocked as I am. I walked, I walked by this guy and he said, Looks like you don't miss too many meals. <laughs> oh man, I was so like beside myself and I just had so much food in my mouth, otherwise I would have. I've said something, but I let it go. Uh, I must say, though, there's there's one really uh, positive thing about being a really big guy like this, is that every time I have sex with my wife, uh, pound for pound, it's a threesome. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, poor her. Uh, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's gonna be out of her walker very soon. Uh, what else? Um, let's see. Oh, I was thinking about uh, starting to exercise. Anybody here exercise? Like, really? You? Of course you do. Of course you do. It's your birthday. Why wouldn't you? I was thinking of exercise, but I wanted to mix it up. I don't like just your regular exercise, so I'm kind of afraid of exercising too, a little bit. Um, anybody here uh, do uh, hot yoga? Of course, Lily does. She's probably an instructor. <laughs> so by applause, nobody really hot yoga's There's in here. There's one right over there. One right over there. Yep. I can't see you, so. Uta, Uta. Oh, Uta. Yeah. Uta, is that a yoga move? <laughs> probably. Her name is Uta. Oh, her name is Uta. Nice to meet you, Uta, wherever you are, over there, somewhere in the darkness. Um, uh, anybody here ever tried boxing for uh, fitness? Lily does, and her partner and her friend there. Uh, you, you boxed for fitness for real? 12 years, look at you, look at those. Golden gloves. You should probably not use those. If you it's too valuable. I don't understand jokes very well. Um, I'd like to combine the two for my own fitness regime, reg regimen, regimen, that's what I mean. My own fitness regimen, I'm gonna start hot boxing. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> yeah. I, I tried it a couple times. Uh, I'm not really sure how it went. <laughs> kind of woke up really, uh, you know, like dry in the mouth and Doritos all over my chest, but just keep giving her, you know, just keep trying. I can't go anywhere. Um, whoa, a little close to the mic there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break off now and talk about some random thoughts I had uh, during the other comedian set. Uh, it sounds rude now that I said. <laughs> um, I was thinking, like, I wanna. The next time somebody, a Christian person, asks me, "Have you accepted Jesus into your heart?" I wanna say, "Well, I'm thinking about it, but I'm not sure how much rent to charge." <laughs> Random thoughts. You might not appreciate that. Thank you, Gold Gloves. Um, I'm also thinking, like, I've been with my wife for, oh my god, uh, carry the one, uh, 24 years. Whoa. I know you're thinking, wait a minute. Yeah, we were uh, we were children, child brides, and um, <laughs> One of them didn't make it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Anyway, I'm thinking about, uh, I was thinking about the fact that we should spice up our sex, we've been together for too long, we should spice up our sex life, so I thought I'd try sexting. Uh, anybody here sext? That's where you send sexy messages over text in here? So my first sex to my wife was, uh, was, uh, to our bedroom from the, from the couch. Uh, you interested? And she said, uh, give me ten minutes, I'm playing Bejeweled. So, went pretty good. I keep it up. Uh, she lied though, she needed 15 minutes because the bejeweled was very funny. Uh, also, other random thoughts. I'm a first aid attendant in my work, uh, and I had to respond to uh, an event at my work. Somebody had a heart attack. And I'm not going to lie to you, when I arrived to help that person, I was pretty sure it was going to be me. <laughs> but it wasn't. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> but it could be. Oh, let's not kid ourselves. Uh, what other random thoughts have we got? Um, hey, has anybody ever thought of the fact that maybe Terminator movies are just like documentaries from the future? <laughs> That's what I think about. Um, whenever you're going to a party, uh, you have to bring something. Guys, am I right? You have to bring something. What do you What do you invariably bring if it's not buns? If somebody says, hey, I need you to bring something to a party, not buns, what do you bring? Salad? <laughs> you are a very erudite person. Does anybody else here bring friggin' dip? No, uh, just bring some friggin' dip. You know that seven layer dip that you bring? Seven layer dip. I always bring friggin' dip. I want to call it friggin' dip. Friggin' dip's good dip. Because everybody loves friggin' dip. They know. Did you have the try? Did you try the friggin' dip? It's great. I'm gonna bring some friggin' dip to the every party next. Anyway, don't eat the friggin' dip. I think it's off. Anyway, it's a joke in development. Uh, probably gonna die. Uh, I was thinking of taking up smoking uh, because let me before you get. Smokers are probably like, yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, most people are like, no, don't do it. Uh, you're too old to start. Uh, do it! Thanks, Lily. Um, I'm a surprise that coming from a yoga teacher. Um, I, I, I want to start because I, I read on a cigarette package that cigarette smoking uh, reduces life expectancy. And quite frankly, I expect too much out of life. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to jump into it right away, though. I'm going to uh, start with a patch. <laughs> work my way up to cigarettes. Uh, you got to start slow. got to start somewhere. What other fun and interesting things? Uh, probably not a very good one. Oh, I just want to say this out loud because it's a joke in itself. I read a headline in the news online, and it said, Man Savaged by Beaver. <laughs> Sounds awesome. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh man, that would be the best death ever. Uh, um, I don't even know where I was going with this one. How many people here, when they're drunk, talk to themselves in a mirror? Certainly does, of course. By applause, who talks to themselves in the mirror? If you have really good, you have really good conversations, like I, to me, I just, I just have to confess. I have to, you, you think, oh man, look at you. I would take you home, and then you do, and then you're too tired, you fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, you take yourself home, but it's, it's embarrassing when you fall asleep on yourself. Get yourself all riled up, and then just, <laughs> and then your hands disappointed in the morning. And it's like you know you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let that one go. Hey, uh, somebody, uh, one of the comics mentioned earlier that uh, they talked about, you know, having sex uh, with the uh, lingerie part of the uh, Sears catalog. Um, of course it was. And uh, it reminds me of uh, the fact that I'm getting older. Uh, because I still get very excited when the Sears catalog arrives. I actually subscribe on purpose to get the Sears catalog. Only now that I'm getting older, I sneak into the bathroom and look at well, uh, washers and dryers. <laughs> front load. Oh, uh, but front load indeed. <laughs> side by side refrigerator. <laughs> chrome finish. Not chrome, steel, stainless steel. No way, it's a chrome fridge, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's just ostentatious. Chrome, can you imagine a chrome refrigerator? Maybe some chrome fixtures, but I'm serious. Um, I'm also, uh, I'm also, uh, I don't know, you can't really tell. Are there any spiders crawling out of here? Uh, I'm a little bit hairy. I'm a little bit of a hairy guy. You can't really tell my arms. Are... Yeah. Right? But here, look, check this out. It's like, ooh. It's like, it's like the Black Forest down there. The Black Forest, where there's like a, a castle here, and the castle here, and they're fighting. And some dire wolves live down here, and they growl sometimes. You know? I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Anyway, very hairy. Uh, and it, it goes all the way around. Uh, I don't need to show you the back part. It goes all the way around. And uh, one time I asked my wife to shave my back. Because I thought that would be sexy. <laughs> she did a, She was like, yes, I'll do that. And so she shaved my back, but she kind of got it like, she was too good at it. And she shaved all the way down, went a little bit too low. And like, even. <laughs> 
and it looked like I was wearing hair pants. <laughs> it looked like I was a satyr, you know? Hair chaps. <laughs> so try not to try not to go to sleep with that in your mind tonight. Um, now, uh, I haven't talked to my kids. I haven't talked about all the kids I have. Uh, have kids, uh, unfortunately for them. I, I, I want to talk to them, talk to you about my kids because uh, who here sleeps in the nude? Five plus. Our friend Lily does. Keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Why would I? I wouldn't have pictured that beautiful girl naked ever. Come on, gross. Um, yeah. Is it? Um, I don't sleep in the nude. Uh, I sleep in underwear because I have children. Because I have children. Now, you may think, oh, I see, you are protecting your children. Wait, hang on. I love where you're going with this. I'm not, I'm not, wearing, I'm not wearing underwear to protect uh, them from seeing me naked. Well, I'm wearing it to protect me from their laughter. <laughs> it's gonna go better, but Lily kind of interjected and threw me off my way. That's all right. It's okay. We'll get along. We'll figure it out. We'll go to counseling. You know, it'll be good. It'll be good. We need it. We we should chat more. We don't communicate enough. Um, I, uh, I I love that uh, that may, having kids is called procreation because in reality it's kind of an amateur creation. I don't know about you. <laughs> Uh, nobody paid me any money to make some kids. Uh, in fact, I believe I spent quite a bit on alcohol that night. <laughs> so, uh, and they're, you know, they're lovely children. Um, I, so I have sex with my wife, that's a true statement. Um, we have sex, what I like to call, we call, occasionally. Okay, it's occasional sex, kind of special occasional sex. Uh, to, Tell you what that means. Uh, for example, um, my daughter was born uh, nine months after my birthday, a special occasion. Uh, my son was born nine months after Valentine's Day, a special occasion. Eleven years apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, eleven years apart. Uh, so it's not that frequent, but it's great. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> oh, God, love her. Um, what else I want to talk about, kids? Uh, oh yeah, I want to talk about the fact that, so my daughter, speaking of 11 years apart, my daughter is uh, now 16 years old. And uh, I think it's time I had a sex talk with her, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Am I late? Yeah. Now wait, let me give you this piece of information before you decide, wait a minute, you've waited way too long. She is in French immersion and dressed as Harry Potter for Halloween. <laughs> you do think she might have sex? I don't think so. Uh, Anyway, I want to give her a sex talk, but I want to give her a sex talk better than my dad gave me a sex talk. Let me tell you how my dad gave me a sex talk. We, uh, I, when I was 16, I was going to a dance, and I lived close enough to school that I was walking, and suddenly my dad, and I'd never gone to a dance before, and now my dad freaked me out, and he's like, hey, I'll walk with you. <laughs> we don't even talk. So, so I'm already like, what the hell is going on? So we, we start walking towards the school, you know, not looking at each other, as usual. <laughs> we get about halfway to the school and he's like, so, you know, you can make babies now. Oh. And I was like, um, yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, right on. Uh, so then I thought, well, okay, I'm gonna, I have to spruce that sex talk up for my daughter. That's not enough. But I wanted to keep true to the spirit of the cranny family sex talk. It was still a little fear into her, so I, she was going to a dance a couple weeks ago, and I thought, now's the time. And uh, we started to walk together. I said, I'll walk with you, and she's freaked out because it's so far. Um, that driving is a much better choice. Why don't you give me a ride? I go to Reynolds. It's a long way from here. Um, and we start walking, and uh, again, not looking at each other because I just wanted to keep that real cranny mystique. I want to do better, so I said, uh, you know you can make babies now. And she was like, yeah, I guess so. And I said, don't. Women's <laughs> 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 liberation. <laughs> See, 
think I'm, think I'm a feminist. Um, oh, speaking of sex uh, and segues, uh, <laughs> let me talk to you. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to keep you very much. You've been a great crowd. Have you had fun tonight? Yeah, been, I was very proud of all the comics tonight. Uh, well, most of them, I said. Um, let's stick with that. Uh, my last thing I'd like to talk to you about is I'd like to talk to you about uh, childbirth. Uh, who here has children? By applause. Okay. So you have gone through the experience of childbirth either as a witness or as the childbirther, correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how that happens. Um, so if you're like confused by either of those statements, you're like, you probably didn't actually have kids. Um, so obviously I was the witness uh, in this event. And so for my first child, my daughter was born, uh, was in a hospital, was uh, very normal. We were, uh, you know, like I was there for it and I saw it happen. And uh, wow, <laughs> it is, uh, it is. <laughs> uh, so then we moved to Victoria. And we had a hospital birth with her, but and when we were in Victoria, we got a lot of pressure from friends saying, oh, you should have a home birth, you know? You should have a home birth, you should get a doula and a midwife and have a home birth and have a little poo and all that sort of stuff. I was like, I don't know why they're talking about it from the south, but it seems, seems like that wouldn't be the actual uh, conversation. But yeah, we got a lot of pressure to have a home birth, and I was like, I was just thinking back on the birth of my daughter, I was like, there is a lot of blood and urine shit. Screaming and crying and everything she's going through. It's like, I don't want that in my home. I don't want, I, I like the bed I have. I don't want all that stuff in the bed. Plus, you know, who's gonna clean that up? She just gave birth, that's not fair to her. on that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a very forward-thinking man. What's that? Lily, no, please, indulge me. Help me get out of this. Help me get out of this hole I've been. What, I mean, what do you say? Nothing. No, I have Shh. Okay, she's almost asleep. It's fine. bit about when uh, my son so my son is now five years old um, he was born uh, how do we say this um, uh, after a vasectomy failed oh. <laughs> and so he was a surprise like the biggest kind of surprise but he's awesome he's a beautiful kid he's uh, we're very happy to have him but it was different because uh, my daughter was easy because she was a girl. I didn't have to, it wasn't a hard thing. Like I didn't, there was no decisions to make. But my son, we had to decide whether he was be circumcised or not. Anybody ever have to face that choice? Yeah. Yes, of course, let it in. Like, hey, random stranger, you should be circumcised. Uh, I decree it. And, uh, we, so we're not religiously obligated to circumcise our, our child. We're not religious at all, and we're like modern people, so we're like, well, we shouldn't circumcise them. But I was circumcised when I was born, and that's just how you happen. I couldn't walk for a year, but it's fine. And then, oh, sorry, that's, that joke's older than Moses. Uh, anyway, uh, so we decided, no, we, we're not going to circumcise us. It's fine. And uh, but then came the ramifications of that choice. The ramifications of that choice are you have to teach your son how to clean his penis. Now, here's a little tidbit that you didn't know. When my son was born, he was born with a supersized penis. <laughs> now, you think you're bragging. Obviously, you're bragging. No, it's on his chart. The doctor wrote it on his chart. <laughs> she, went, she birthed him, she's like, you have a boy, and oh my god. And she went over, and I'm not lying, wrote supersized penis on the chart. <laughs> Master, uh, possibly, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, anyway, so now came time when he was, you know, in the bath, I had to teach him how to clean his penis, and I don't know what I'm doing because mine was circumcised and his isn't. I'm not sure why you have to clean it because what happens? Does a topiary bush or something grow there? Like, what happens? 
you know, and I don't understand, but I'm just doing my job, and I'm helping you know, I have to kind of like show him how to pull back the foreskin, and like, but I don't want to do it because he's my son. I won't touch him. It's weird. So anyway, I'm trying to. You gotta like pull. You gotta take. You gotta pull that all the way all, all the while. I'm waiting for Chris Hansen from To Catch a Predator to show up, and I'm like, excuse me, sir. Whiskey, no, he's my son. I'm trying to teach him how to play his piece. Anyway, I don't want to touch it. Um, so finally, he's like two years old in the bath, and he figures it out on his own. And he pulls back his, his foreskin and goes, Big one! <laughs> I was like, I know you little shit, I saw your chest.